take two because today I cannot talk. <laughs> I don't know how that's different from any other day. If you're new here, hi, my name is Raina and I like to do shopping videos. I am currently at the Dollar Tree. I am specifically here to actually do a welcome little packet for a new girl that's starting my team. I like to put together like notebooks, pens, stuff like that that's useful and kind of fun. A little bit different than our boring office supplies. But I thought it would be fun to kind of walk around the store and see what they've got on hand and bring you guys along. So let's go. If you guys have any kiddos or birthday parties coming up, this is the perfect place to get wrapping paper. They've got DC League of Super Pets. I'm trying to show them on here because they're so stinking cute. Let's see, I really like, there's a pig on here. It's stinking cute. Anywho, they have that Sesame Street right now. They also have some Disney characters and then some cakes. I don't see anything else in here right now, but you should check your store. You might find some. All the Easter eggs you could ever need or want. I've got some Ocean Buddies. Some bigger, prettier ones. All these are cute. They're like little treats. They have some with designs on them. These look like mermaid cutouts. Oh, we've got animals. Those are cute. I like this. The little hippo. Speaking of hippos, the other day I saw this TikTok video of a crocodile that took a baby hippo and then all the hippos got mad and they got the crocodile and I felt sad. Don't watch that video if it comes across your feed. Trust me. Over here on the other side, they've got some sports themed eggs, some little chicks. I thought these were piggies, but they're actually little bunny rabbits and even seashells. This would actually be really fun as part of like a gift set for anybody that's doing like an under the sea type party. And then we have little carrots, so cute. Are the big surprise eggs still a thing that kids get into? I remember my oldest, when he was a little one, we would get these big eggs and like cover it in Play-Doh so he could unveil something inside. Crazy times. Crazy YouTube times. What we got going on for baskets down here? I remember those ones last year. We have plastic, bunny, some unicorns. Looks like we have starfish. Is that a fish? Or a chicken? I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, we have Easter bunny, bunny poppers. My son has one that it blows eggs right out of its booty. This is a fun, ridiculous pen. I wonder how well it works. We have that one, and this one says, make today happy. Cute. these up in a kiddo's area for some festive soap. They were full too. It's kind of cute. What is this guy? That's so funny. I feel like these could transfer into beach buckets. When the weather gets better, we have footballs, soccer, balls. These are fun. They're little basketball nets. Look at that. I love that. That's so cute. For stuffers, they have the Peeps bath bombs back. I have no idea how well these work. And bubbling dust, we have Peeps flavored balms in cotton candy and in strawberry. There's probably more flavors, but my place is pretty picked over. 
We got little moles. Figured I would do a once over here. I actually have this sign for my office. I need to put it up. The hunt is on. Easter Bunny stop here. Every bunny welcome. Happy Easter. Follow the bunny. He has chocolate. So cute. I think I might have this one actually in my stuff too. If your household participates in leprechaun traps, they do have these craft kits you might be able to use to help decorate your traps. So cute. And the whole point of setting up a trap is to hopefully catch the leprechaun in his gold. So we can also find little goodies he may want to leave behind. Necklaces, suspenders, little bubbles. This is fun. Little scratch art to reveal a rainbow. Some fun little headbands. And some cute little decor pieces. These ones are a little more elevated and fun. Elmo. It actually looks like a pretty good Elmo. And they've got Cookie Monster one of them out. Take a better look. Cute! And then they also have some fuzzy peep baskets. Got it in blue, pink, and yellow. These are more like the big old eggs I would decorate for my kids. Oh man the good old days. Stacked eggs? Uh, I don't love that. I think it's kind of weird. Here we have egg garland. We also have this one with the wooden beads in between. And these glittery festive ones. Bunny rabbits you can put in your doorway. Aw, he's kind of cute. I figured I'd zoom out a little bit here so you guys can see better. We have a blue bunny rabbit. And then a silly little yellow ducky. Oh, probably should look at this guy. And there you go. I don't think that those are too bad for Dollar Tree. Look at them go. Okay, let's see what we got going on here in the crafting area. We have lots of egg picks that you could prop around. Hmm. We have a chef rubber ducky down here. <laughs> We have some bottle brush trees that have been turned into carrots. One yellow, an orange, a little bunny butt pick. Some garlic. I never know how to decor with garlands, but they have all the Easter ones here. You can do a little craft painting project. They even have some bottle brush Easter trees, which is interesting, but I actually kind of don't hate it. Like, I feel like you could make this work, honestly. Pigs, little boy bunnies, 
And little girl bunnies. The teeniest little carrots. Happy Easter. Little trucks with gnomes. Cute. Gingham bunnies. Pink, purple, blue. And an even smaller little bottle brush goodies. Look at these pink trees. Oh my goodness. Green and blue. We've got some bigger eggs down here you can decorate with. Ooh, I want to touch this. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. <laughs> oh, I like these ones. A bit bigger. You can put on little trays around the house. Got some little bunny gnomes. decoration ornaments with letters you do something with these I feel like I would want to make them look like little chocolate bunnies what do we got in here this store gets a little bit disheveled and I think that they're understaffed so a lot of times there's stuff still in boxes you can just kind of take a look. Oh, that's a cute little craft. Make yourself a full-on pom-pom bunny. Paint a bunny. What else we got in here? Pencils. Little painted pieces you could probably decorate something with. Klingons. Cute. A little broken basket. A couple little broken baskets. Easter goodie bags. Oh, look at that guy. That's sweet. You can get a big old bag to put around the basket that you're gifting. I kind of want to do that thing where you do the upside down umbrella this year had it pinned in my Pinterest now for a couple of years and I know that the boys need better umbrellas. Oh yeah, I seen these last year and I really like them. Like greenery bunnies. Cute. Just turned around and saw these tiny little baskets and I think they're really cute. The white, the black, black trim and white trim. A nice little place maybe in your doorway to throw your keys or something small like that. I just realized this was down here and I didn't look at it. $3 tablecloth, easy care. I actually really like that print. That's perfect for Easter. You can just throw it away when you're done. These ones are pretty cute. Luck of the Irish. <laughs> A little rainbow, a happy St. Patrick's Day wreath, and then I really like this one right here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So cute. They have some fun little cups that a leprechaun could leave behind. We have a three leaf clover, we have a cauldron of gold. And we have a rainbow. So fun. We also have some spools of ribbon. If you like to do things with ribbon, this one's fun. This one says lucky. Cute. These could be such fun little Easter basket stuffers for kids. Or just something you can throw in a bag for a little one if you're going to be sitting somewhere for a bit. Keep their hands busy. Got silly kids, got unicorns, and they have dinosaurs here. Does anybody else's Dollar Tree just struggle? I always want to help them because this place just gets so disheveled and crazy. I feel for them. Have some interesting books back here. 
the wolf wants in looks kind of good the big finish it's like an entertaining story we are inevitable warrior of the altai free to believe hannah's war the ensemble the age of light we also have lightning flowers a journal to uncover the cost of saving a life interesting the Strange Fascination of Noah Hypnotic. And I kept one of the best for last. Lady Clementine, and here we go. If Keanu were your boyfriend, the man, the myth, the woe. I have to look inside this because you just have to. If you don't, it, oh, I don't get out much. Home is where Keanu is. I'm still in love with acting and the movies. We're still in love too. <laughs> this has been an amazing journey. We'd follow Keanu anywhere. It's, I'm just a normal guy. Celebrities, they're just like us. I don't know. This is so funny. I wish I knew somebody that was in love with him because I would get this. Absolutely. We have an end cap here of silly little gnomes. If you guys are into gnomes, by the way, I know somebody that makes amazing ones and they are so affordable. What's that say? Irish. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We got a truck, a trailer, some lucky horseshoes. Looks like a little stone to put outside. May God bless you. And, oh, I think there's a different one in here. Irish blessings, I think is what it says. We have all sorts of holiday wear here. We have this headband. Some head wraps. Silly glasses. This one says lucky. I really like these ones actually. Rainbow. Silly little headband. It looks like we've got a unicorn horn. I wonder if these will fit me. They barely fit. <laughs> but they're amazing. They have these ones too, which are pretty cute. I think the leprechaun might need to leave something like that behind for the, the little one. Oh, that one's falling apart. What does that say? Oh, happy seat pat. <laughs> they have so many water flavoring packets. Thought I would show them all to you guys in case you've been looking for any specific ones. I wouldn't say that these are any cheaper than getting them at Walmart, but I still wanted to share with you guys. They have some fun, festive socks over here that could be left behind by a leprechaun or if your kiddo likes to dress up for the holiday. These are really cute. On the top of them, they say these are my lucky socks. I even got some short ones down here. And then I noticed down here, these are fun. They are latte socks by Crazy Boxer. I don't know, the packaging's just fun. We also have Mandalorian underwears down here randomly oh these are cute these are fun too I would wear those beers and burgers yeah big old claws down there 
I feel like my um, Dollar Tree is equivalent to the Goodwill bins. You just gotta dig and see what you find, you know? Just plain yellow socks, yeah. I like those. Those are fun socks. I will wear those. Donuts and just white. Those are kind of fun too. This is the tiniest sweet little bag. If I had a little girl, I would. <laughs> I don't know the burn quality of these, but they do have some pillar candlesticks here. It looks like red and pink is kind of the main theme. I'm wondering if it's leftovers from um, Valentine's Day. And they also have sprinkled throughout this area because it's disheveled these candle holders, which I don't think are ugly at all. We are back at my house. I figured I would do the final Dollar Tree haul with you guys. And I'll also show you guys a couple things that I picked up at Goodwill that I'm hoping to flip on Marketplace. So here is my big old bag of Dollar Tree. I pretty much shopped with St. Patrick's Day in mind. I shopped with, um, that new girl coming to her cube in mind. And I also found some snacks I figured we could try together. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna kind of put it in order as I go. I did get this six pack of poster board. I'm gonna say welcome her name and put it at her desk. Oh yes, I found this sash and it says it's my birthday. I do decorate for everybody's birthdays and the sash that I currently have says birthday princess. So I could put this around the chair of the dudes when they have their birthday. I ended up getting these for my youngest. If he hates them, I will definitely wear them to work. I got some fool's gold coins for the boys to use to help trick the leprechaun for going into their trap. I also went ahead and picked up these little craft kits because I thought this one was the cutest that they can stick all over their boxes. Um, this is going to go on the sign for the girl. I figured this is actually going to match the letters that I picked out. I did grab the little cauldron cups. I thought these would be fun and I did get something to put inside of them. I'm gonna put three packets each of these Skittles Wild Berry Punch drink mixes since they are rainbow themed. I did pick up these socks for me. I will probably wear them before uh, St. Patrick's Day because I just love wearing socks like this around my house. They're fun. I got these as a goodie from the Leprechaun. Two each for my boys. I got the cute um, knee highs that says this is my lucky socks. These are for kids and it says shoe size five to nine and my youngest has size five feet. So the leprechaun is going to gift those. Leprechaun is also going to leave behind some golden chocolate coins for the boys. So I got those. We play a lot of games in my unit meetings and I've been wanting these and they've been out of stock. These are the buzzers. So I went ahead and grabbed two because it's, it's likely it's one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so I grabbed these for work. And then for my sign, I picked out these two colors and letters for the sign. So this with these little hearts all over the sign, I think is gonna be so cute. 
I've been wanting candles at my table and I figured I would go ahead and give these a go. I think that these are perfectly fine. And then I'm also going to test their candlesticks. I picked out pink because I love pink and I actually found a white set that was pushed in the back of a box. So I picked up these and we'll hopefully they'll fit. Actually, let's go ahead and see. Let's see if they fit. I hope these burn okay. I have a feeling they're gonna melt quickly, which is okay. There's no scent. Yeah, there's no scent, which is preferred for dinner time. There we go. I'm gonna have to melt them down a little bit, I think, to make them stick, but, because they're a little wobbly. But they'll work. So, I got those for my dinner table. And to set up on her desk, I have this fun little rose gold shiny notebook. I found a pen that's got like slow moving gold in it. So I'll put that with the book. I found push pins that look like pearls, which I think is pretty. And I also found push pins that are like a dark velvet and rose gold. So I'll put that on her desk. And okay, we're down to the snacks. I thought I would do a taste test with you guys to try different things that I've only seen at Dollar Tree. There is one thing I feel like I might have seen in the stores I've just never purchased. So let's give these a go. The first one is Sweet Chaos Delightfully Disruptive Dill Pickle Popcorn. I love the flavor of dill pickle. So I'm gonna give these a go. Ooh! <laughs> I think if you love the flavor of pickles, you will love these. They are a little bit on the stale side to me. Not like completely styrofoam popcorn yet, but I feel like they've had fresher days. But the dill pickle flavor is really, really good. Okay, I would give these out of five because they're still a three. Next I found were Pop Daddy Pretzels. I've never seen these before. These are bold snacks in peppercorn ranch flavor and they are pretzel sticks. And here we go. I love ranch flavoring. Put all of these into some Ziploc bags in my pantry for snacks later. Here we go. Yum. I would give these five out of five. So good. Lovely flavor. Would recommend. I'm totally going to put those in my lunch just this week. Okay. This is a brand of chips I've never heard of. It's Hers Crisp and Tasty Potato Chips. I've got a couple of their chips. I wanted to try these ones because I love a thin potato chip. It looks nice and thin. Perfectly great potato chip. I feel like maybe a tad bit more salt would be good on these, but Honestly, I will eat them as is. I'd give them four out of five. We have more. We have corn nuts in Mexican style street corn. I might have seen these at Walmart. I can't remember, but I know I have never tried them. And I do love Mexican corn. Um, I don't always love flavored items though. So we'll see.
These are great. Way better than any other Mexican corn flavored snack I've ever had. I give these five out of five. I really like them. I'll eat them. I think that they actually compete with the ranch corn nut. Like out of the corn nuts, that's the one I grab, but I actually might grab those ones instead because of that little zesty zing at the end. If you haven't tried them, would recommend. Okay, I got another one of those Pop Daddy pretzels. This one's in garlic Parmesan. I'm really excited about these because I like the other ones. And hello, garlic Parmesan. There you go. You see flavoring. It took me a couple. I'm like, where's the garlic? It's there. These are yummy. Five out of five. Just like the other pretzels. If you see these there, I would recommend if you love pretzels. We have two more. I'll leave the sweet one for last. This is another hers brand chip. These are baby back ribs. My guess is these are going to just taste like barbecue chips. But you know, maybe they're more exciting than that. Good old Rich. Oh, this is weird. I feel like I'm eating crunchy ribs. Mmm. Okay. I was expecting these just to taste like barbecue. No, they taste like ribs. Mind blown. Five out of five. I don't even really like barbecue ribs, so I'm not even saying like five out of five for the flavor, but I'm saying five out of five for like nailing barbecue ribs in a chip. I feel like, I don't know, like when you get Pringles and they're like, it's this flavor, they always just taste like Pringles. This tastes like barbecue ribs. <laughs> okay, lastly, this is one of the things I feel like I've seen in the store, maybe. I know I've seen regular brownie brittle in chocolate. These ones are chocolate chip. My oldest son loves brownie brittle, so I'll probably be giving these to him. But I gotta try the chocolate chip kind. Let's see. They're just like crunchy bits. Mm. I like these better than regular brownie brittle. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll keep these. They're so buttery. Okay. Five out of five. Get these. So good. Okay. I want to show you guys also what I got to flip, um, but I need to put some things away. So I'll see you guys in a second and then we'll end out this video. All right, I was gonna show you guys what I picked up. This is a Murano style glass vase that is vintage from the 60s. I paid $3 for this and I looked up online and I think these were going for over 40 and shipping, but I'm offering locally for 30. So we'll see if I make any money off of this. It does have some imperfections in it, but I think that that's probably okay. There's a couple bubbles in the glass, but it's still overall very pretty. I kind of want to keep these for Christmas time, but I'm going to let them go. They are vintage singing angels and I found a single one selling for $20 so I have the set going for 30 this one does have some slight chipping here on the swing here and like at the very top but otherwise they're in perfect condition so we'll see if I make any extra moolah to continue my little vintage flipping thing I got going on Thank you guys for shopping with me. As you can see, I have this calling my name, so I'm going to go take care of it. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Love always. Bye-bye.